Welcome to Bears and XL. Today is Monday, July 9th, and this is the market overview looking at the Dow SPX VIX, TNA, UUP, FXC, GLD, SLV, and, uh, and everything else that we happen to look at. I'm just going to get into it and uh, start off with the Dow as usual. So last night we had the, uh, huh, last night, Friday night, we had, uh, we had the down tick which was resolved intraday. Let me blow that up. And according to the rule, we then have to see what it wants to do next. And uh, today was kind of inconclusive. I mean, um, yeah, it went further down, which is nice. Um, we did uh, kiss the long-term moving averages, but uh, bounced away from them. Essentially just a holding pattern while we wait for earnings season to start, which uh, didn't seem to do too great right out of the, uh, you know, right out of the shed. So uh, Alcoa, some say that it beat, some say that it missed. AMD certainly missed. But uh, nonetheless, just hanging out before the close and the start of the earnings season, very interesting. So uh, we did make a uh, slightly lower recent low, but uh, it was the closing that, uh, that mattered. And uh, today it just wasn't overly uh, impressive um, so hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to either close right at the long-term moving average bar or just below it that will be a huge tell if it doesn't bounce I mean uh, certainly it can always bounce um, beyond that we have the very first downtick of the 14-day RSI moving average today that is encouraging to the bears down on the uh, stochastics the CCI RSI going sideways, down on the histogram, down on the MACD. Overall, the daily chart looks poor. And um, positioning could be better, but indicator-wise, yep, poor. No real uh, bottoming area in the uh, heat map either. Now, once again, just like on Friday, here's the real kicker, which kind of... Uh, makes it much more difficult. 60 minute time frame looks good. Um, we have very slight indications of a bottoming area in the uh, heat map, but beyond that we have the CCI going up, the stochastics going up, RSI going up, histogram sloping up, and even the MACD doing its turn. So 60 minute time frame, yeah, it still looks like it needs a bounce, just like on Friday. Notice the uh, positioning here, yeah, a little bit lower, but uh, still and then we're getting the uh, trying to get the cross of the middle Bollinger Band either this needs to go down fast due to news or some other event or it really should have some kind of a bounce and uh, most likely get a uh, lower high but uh, yep, same thing we were looking for Friday still looking for it, it today 14 day RSI moving average still moving down losing a little bit of its momentum but uh, overall still pointing down SPX is more of the same. No need really to rehash. Everything is essentially identical. And even with a, a pretty hammer, slightly lower uh, recent low today. And uh, yep, first day down tick of the 14 day RSI moving average. So it looks like it's rolling in the daily. And the 60 minute looks like it needs a bounce. So what can you, uh, what can you say? Maybe get a little bit of a bounce and then it'll be all right. Moving on to the VIX. This one actually was uh, not bad. It didn't close above 18, unfortunately. That would have made it uh, easier. But we ended with a uh, spinning top. It uh, certainly closed much higher than it did on Friday. Friday did not make any sense whatsoever. And we still have a couple of days for the uptick target, which has not been met yet. We'd have to get up here to about 1870, around about 1880, and uh, still a ways to go. Beyond that, first day uptick of the 14-day RSI moving average, up on the stochastics, up on the CCI, up on the RSI, up on the histogram, up on the MACD, and uh, certainly still in a bottoming type area on the heat map. So... Um, it jives with the Dow, it jives with the SPX, and I'm happy with that personally. 
TNA, we talked about on Friday how this one was stronger than the Dow and SPX, which is a really good sign for the bulls. And it continues again today. Yes, making a, uh, a new recent low, lower than uh, Friday, but coming nowhere close to resolving the uh, downtick target down here at 52.5. So um, we still do not have a downtick on the 14 day RSI moving average. This is stronger. Down on the stochastics, down on the CCI, down on the R, very slightly down on the RSI, down on the histogram, and still ticking up on the MACD. Very different, very different chart here. Going on to CompQ, the NASDAQ. Friday we said this was very similar to TNA, and while not as quite as strong as TNA, it's still a different. Uh, a little bit of a different beast than the Dow and SPX by a flavor or two. Um, we did not have the downtick on the 14 day RSI moving average. Down on the CCI, down on the stochastics, down on the RSI, down on the histogram, and sideways on the MACD. Notice just a flavor different. Ending with a spinning top, and it has uh, it doesn't have as far as TNA uh, needs to go for its uh, downtick target to be met. But uh, still, not as bad as the Dow, not as bad as SPX. XOI, oil. We know that when oil is bullish, the market is bullish. And uh, while having a really good dip intraday, it did not, uh, it didn't close in a uh, fashion which uh, really benefits uh, the bears in any meaningful fashion. The uh, downtick target was resolved today. So that is done. Got to see what I want to do next. We do have a one first day uh, downtick on the 14 day RSI moving average, down on the CCI, down on the stochastics, sideways on the RSI, down on the histogram, down on the MACD. This is, uh, once again, a flavor different, but uh, definitely worse than uh, TNA and CompQ. You, know, you could look at this and say, oh, well, this is a, uh, um, a higher low. This is a possible pivot point here. Yeah, it is possible. It is possible. But uh, we just don't know yet quite yet so have all of this gap to fill It'd be nice if that was filled uh, certainly longer term it seems like it will fill but uh, doesn't mean that it's going to do it tomorrow uh, going on to Apple one of the big winners of the market today even though the market wasn't down huge or anything Apple certainly had an impressive showing. Coming up on its previous high from Thursday, closing at the highs of the day, we do have excessive separation here. We do have some wobble. We do have some uh, green in the heat map. We have the 14-day uh, RSI moving average getting a down tick. Stochastics holding high. CCI holding high. RSI down tick up on the histogram, up on the MACD. Overall, pretty darn good looking chart as long as it can break out uh, this previous high from Thursday, uh, which it should be able to do easily if it wants to. Not a bad looking chart. Not a bad looking chart. Um, be very curious to see if the uh, 14 day RSI moving average gets further down ticks and actually turns the uh, MACD histogram and the uh, CCI and the stochastics. But uh, that could take a few days most important thing is the previous high and GE this one's been very interesting it has uh, definitely led the Dow which is what it's supposed to do and beyond getting the uh, downtick resolved on Friday today we have a slightly uh, lower low coming in on uh, this previous level also matching almost with the uh, major pr price consensus level from this month. We can see the uh, middle Bollinger Band still weakly trying to get its cross, but um, not really impressive. We have nothing really in the uh, heat map. 14 day RSI moving average does not have a downtick. Uh, Stochastic still moving down, CCI moving down, RSI moving up, curious. MACD trying to get a bearish cross and the MACD histogram getting down to zero. Very critical time. Um, Certainly, this one looks better than uh, SPX and the Dow in that it resolved its bubble corrective target and moved, um, well, shoot, it should have closed below all of the short-term moving averages, and it didn't. 
but um, <clears throat> I don't know. At first glance, this just looks better for bears than uh, than the down SPX. Um, and its 60 minute time frame is uh, is pretty for a bounce, just like the down SPX. So uh, very interesting. We do have the uh, negative divergence still in the uh, daily time frame, uh, but we have already worked off a lot of that. So nothing really to uh, glom on to that right there. Um, GLD. I haven't liked this chart at all. And uh, today really doesn't tell us anything either. Touching the lower price consensus level, backing away from it, kind of just holding pat. A uh, little bit of a bottoming area in the uh, heat map, but it's not a uh, dangerous level yet. Up on the CCI, down on the stochastics, down on the 14D RSI, moving average sideways on the RSI, down on the histogram, down on the MACD. If I had to go one way or the other, I would say that this one would be more likely to go down since we have a pierce here and we have the resistance of the long-term moving averages up here. But uh, it's still not a... Uh, highly useful chart. SLV. This one isn't overly helpful either. Yeah, minorly higher close. Um, the indicators are all over the place. Uh, MACD up, histogram down, up on the uh, RSI, down on the uh, stochastics, down on the 14 day RSI moving average, up on the CCI. This is a mess. And uh, not helpful. UUP, the dollar, so important. They tried to uh, bring it down a little bit. Hmm. Interesting. They tried to bring it down a little bit today. It's still holding above the upper price consensus level. It's not even resting at it, but uh, it could pretty easily. Uh, we still have the uh, support line here. On Friday, we weren't sure if it would be going back for a retest of the uh, support line or if it'd be trying to go out, take out the uh, previous high, but that it was closer to the previous high. Well, backing away a little bit today. 14 day RSI moving average ticking down slightly up on the uh, stochastics, down on the CCI, down on the RSI, up on the histogram, and up on the MACD very very mixed chart um, not entirely sure what to make of it seems like it has it would have uh, much more to uh, lean on to the downside but um, I guess we'll see uh, the politicians this is this one is the one that they screw around with and FXE the euro yeah this one I think is uh, more telling inside day today spinning top in decision understandable way outside of the uh, trend line here 14 day RSI moving average going sideways CCI up stochastics down RSI up histogram down MACD down I would definitely say this is more bearish than bullish and so at least that uh, gives us a little bit of insight to uh, UUP potentially. It did do what it was supposed to do. We said Friday it needed to go sideways or up, get back inside the lower Bollinger Band, and it did that exactly. So I'm happy with that. Um, we do have a little bit of a bottoming area in the heat map. So if it does want to bounce some, I suppose that that's fine. Uh, do I think that it'll get all the way back up here to this trend line? Mm, it's very hard to tell, but um, I guess we just need more data. Today is kind of a holding pattern, waiting for earnings. Um, XLF, the financials. We have all this stuff swirling about, about LIBOR and, and uh, all that craziness. Well, today was a spitting top, not overly useful. Nothing in the heat map. 14 day RSI moving average is uh, hanging out high, going sideways. Down on the uh, stochastics, down on the CCI, up on the RSI, down on the histogram, down on the MACD. Definitely more bearish than bullish, but this does look good in the 60 minute for a bounce, like most things. Matter of fact, I'll even just uh, 
because I just don't want to rehash everything over and over and be like, oh, I just saw that all these charts look exactly the same. Um, and here we can see the uh, histogram sloping up, MACD trying to uh, turn around, RSI up, CCI up, stochastics up, 14 day RSI moving average still pointing down, definitely more bullish than bearish and we have a possible bottoming area here in the heat map so does this need a uh, bounce I think that a uh, fill of the gap would be just dandy and the question at that point will be does it turn around um... JP Morgan since this one has also been leading let's take a quick look at this one oh. We had a doji starts bullish engulfing with a um, spinning top 14 day RSI moving average holding high stochastics down CCI up RSI up histogram down MACD getting a starting a bearish cross <laughs> it really doesn't tell us too much it's definitely bearish in the daily time frame and it looks like people are hesitant to uh, let it go down any further we need more data that's just all there is to it. Um, and I think that's about it for this evening. I hope that uh, tomorrow brings us some uh, really good movement. Could be a bounce. And uh, I guess we'll see. As always, all investing decisions are your own. This chart and video for entertainment, educational, and consumption of time purposes only. Thank you.